Bonjour, madame, monsieur. Je m'appelle Stranger Gamer. Back for another episode, well, for the start of the last 16 round. <laughs> okay, yes, yes, I still remember my French. So, yes, hello, everybody. This is Stranger Gamer back for the start of the last 16 round. Ooh, we got, now we're getting into it, like, in two weeks, pretty much. We are going to crown a winner. Put that into perspective. I don't know if it'll be two weeks today or two weeks Friday or whatever, but pretty much within three weeks, let's say. We are going to crown a winner. But we got a couple of matches to go through first. So yes, it'll be two matches per video for the last 16 round. So we will have this matchup and then the biggest matchup of this round. <laughs> and then in the next part will be this, these two and then, you know, you get the point. So yes, up first, we are going to see a Diddy Darius going up against Fool's Cat on Oh, And then, as I said, it's going to be our gracious host, Stranger Gamer, going up against Ultima Dino Queen. Um, I tell you what, given how the last 32 round went, this might actually be Queen's time. It might be her time to shine. Of course, <laughs> maybe my time to win again. You never know. Actually, in all honesty, I think someone new is going to win. Like, obviously, the odds of someone new winning are e extremely favourable. But I legit think someone new is going to win. Who will it be? Well, we're not going to find out by talking, are we? Let's we'll just get on with the match. Right, Dio, then. In the red corner, for Mr. Diddy Darius, we have a Gigant Spinosaurus. This Gigant Spinosaurus, a magnificent specimen for Team Diddy, has done well for Team Diddy. And if Team Diddy can get a win here... They will secure a top 8 finish, which is where they finished last time. Well, they got a top 8 finish, which will be good for them going into future tournaments. If I ever do one again. <laughs> right, as for Madame Fool's Cut Amato, we have a Uteraptor. Fool's Cut Amato pulled off quite an impressive victory in the last 16 round. Can they do it again? Oh, not with a start like that. Diddy Darius, still my dark horse in this tournament. I like to remind people of that. Well, whoever they get in the quarterfinals is going to be a tough match. Whether it be me or Ultimate Dino Queen. The question is, who would you rather take your chances against? I, on current form, I would ra you would rather take your chances against me than with Queen. But, on the basis that nobody has ever won every match in my tournament, you know, that loss for Queen could come in the quarterfinals. And bloody hell, how many ties have we got? Oh, there, finally. <laughs> we broke we broke the tie. And it's Diddy Darius, not with a 1-0 lead, but a pretty strong start. Getting the defense boost going there, but the Dino Illusion has been triggered. That could help Fool Cat Mat. Oh, yeah, back in the match. Well, there goes the Dino Illusion. Can Fool's Cap secure a hit with this Uteraptor? I hope so, so we get an interesting match. The answer to that is no. The Uteraptor not even getting a hit. Well, it did some decent damage with the ties in that set. But here comes the MVP for Fool's Cap on that, though. The Dino solely responsible for defeating Toka Nightmare in the last 32 round. The Alpha Acro. And it even got off a heat eruption to win it, that match. Which was complete rubbish. Because the Brontokins should have got off the ocean panic. And it didn't. But let's be honest, I think Fool's Cup's going to win that match anyway. <laughs> they had quite a big lead. Although the Brontokins could have got the Spectral Armour and won. But, you know, it's Fool's Cup and Atto in the, in the quarterfinals. And there's the first hit for them. Alpha Acro getting a hit there. Not much damage dealt, of course because his attacks are quite low because it all most of its power is in the crypt. Oh, oh, here comes Eat Eruption. This, this is ball. This is rubbish. This, this. Do you know, when I did the Afrovenate the Joboria judge, grudge match, do you know I had about 21 matches until I got off an Ocean Panic with Joboria? And Joboria has more technique than this stupid Acrocamphosaurus. Ooh, heat eruption might not save it though, because here's the MVP for Team Diddy. It is a Margosaurus. 
powerhouse itself. Mightily impressive specimen. Also misidentified as a Loch Ness Monster. This Amargosaurus is capable of one-shotting this Alpha Acro because it has the type advantage, so Fool's Cap is going to have to watch out. Oh, oh, well, there's one attack boost. There's a hit. The Tava Cannon's going to get triggered. Well, if Futaba Cannon activates, Acrocanvasaurus is dead. Well, it's definitely going to be dead now. Attack boost maxed up. Cannon Margosaurus, yet again, win it for Diddy. Well, I don't think he's going to need the Futaba Cannon. Look at that, cleaning the Acro up. Ooh, but the Acro gets the crit. Decent damage done there. Can Fool Scap strike back in this match? But again, getting hit is what the Amargosaurus wants. Hmm, now this is interesting. Like, the Acro's dead, but the Futaba Cannon is kind of been wasted. Of course, then again, Fool Scap's third dino is a lightning dinosaur, so... Maybe... That, it's a good thing for Diddy that the fu that the um, Futaba Cannon is gone. So now, if Diddy can land a crit on this Ceratosaurus, it's going to do a lot of damage. And oh yeah. Fool's Cat and Rattle's third die, no Stratosaurus. Didn't see it in the last 32 round. Wasn't needed. Haven't seen too much of it, to be honest. Can it win it for Fool's Cat? Or can Diddy Darius secure that top 8 finish like he got last time? Ooh, it was a tie. But again, if the Amargosaurus is on low health, Crisis type does become a factor. So keep chipping away at it. Ooh, now. Now things get hairy for Fool's Cap. Because if this Amargosaurus gets hit, it's going to do a lot of damage. A crit can win it for Diddy. Ooh, but... It's the map again, the crit instead. And Amargosaurus going down. A for slash, but Diddy Darius does have a type advantage with this tank tector. Hmm, yeah, I, th I think Diddy's going to win this match now. Now that I'm looking at it, I feel like I feel like Diddy is going to win this match. The Thunder Driver will get triggered. The Gatling Spark is already triggered. It's going to be tough for Stratosaurus to do too much damage to this thing. And I don't remember what type it is. I think it's defense type. I mean, if it was crisis type, you know, low elf might help it, but no. And this thing's got tech boost and earth barrier as protection as well. So it's very well guarded she is. Doesn't get it off though. It's quite a surprise. Oh, it's a tie. Can Fool's Cat and Rato come back? Wow, so many ties. This has got to be a record for the most ties in a match. Nah, there it is. There it is! They had a good run in this tournament, but unfortunately, it's all over for Fool's Cat and Rato. And it's our dark horse, Diddy Darius, going through to the quarterfinals. But you know what? Fools Cat and Rattle had a good tournament. They had some good moments, some fine victories. They can be proud of where they finished. And it was their first tournament as well, so they did well. But they just, just ran out of steam a bit there with the, um, against Diddy Darius. They just ran out of energy a bit in the end. But another fine victory for Diddy Darius. Continuing their march in this tournament. And as I said, a dark horse. Can they do it? Well, <laughs> Whoever they get in the quarterfinals is going to be a tough match. Of course, it's going to be a tough match for our next two combatants, regardless of which one of them wins. So yeah, let's not talk about that match. Let's get on with that match. And if you don't know what our match is, then where the hell have you been? Because it is a clash between our host, Stranger Gamer, and Ultima Dino Queen. Right, Dio, then, in the red corner, for our gracious hosts, we have the Mega Raptor. Well, somehow I've got to this stage. After having a poor performance in the group stage, 
Got a good win against Dark Ashtar somehow. And now, we're up against Ultimate Dino Queen. Right, speak of the devil, in the blue corner, we got a Utoraptor. The uh, inferior Megaraptor itself here. Can it, can it spring a surprise against this superior counterpart? Well, they're not really, re they're not related, but back then they were. <laughs> back when Dinosaur King was out, they were related. Of course, that was when Megaraptor was just thought to be a Dromaeosaurid, and now we know it's not. The inaccuracies of Dinosaur King. I tell you what, as, an, as a stipulation, if the Megaraptor kills Utahraptor early, then... Oh, oh um, well, I think it's going to. <laughs> so yeah, as I say, if the Megaraptor kills the Utahraptor relatively quick, then Queen's in a lot of trouble because Anata Titan comes in next. But Anata Titan does have experience of beating Megaraptors, so do not discount it that early. Wow, no Dino Illusion. Oh, oh, it's a tie. Can Queen land a hit on this Megaraptor? The answer to that is no. And down goes the Utahraptor, and it's exactly what Queen feared, and exactly what I wanted. The Utahraptor to go down quick, and now Queen is in trouble here, because this is a Nata Titan, and he has the tightest advantage against the Megaraptor. But, as I said, this Nata Titan has defeated Megaraptors before. Can, can she do it again? I mean, you don't win every match in this tournament at this stage without going through some form of adversity. And this is such time. Wow, what a massive win this could be for Queen if she could pull this off. Oh, well, there's a hit. It's a metal wing. And I need a drink. <coughs> Cloggy throat. It's like plumbing. It's like a plunger in me throat. Yeah, look at that. Not too bad, though. Not too bad, but not too good. Oh, well, if I get a tornado toss off, then... <laughs> Queen's gonna be waving the white flag. Well, again, not too bad for the for the Anata Titan. Hasn't taken too much of a beat then. Oh, and it's got off another hit. Queen coming back into this match and reminding us all why she's won every match in this tournament. Ooh, what have we got here? It's the Ford win. Will this be enough to kill Megaraptor? Oh, it is. Well, you got to give her credit. Coming back strong into this match and avoided the likely scenario of going 2 0 down. But here comes a wild child for Team Stranger. It is the Kama. Kamarasaurus. Hasn't gone too wild in recent matches, I must admit, but. If we can get some form like you showed in the first match, we're going to win this match. We're going to win easy. <laughs> Go on, Kama, you can do it. Show this and that a Titan boss. Oh, oh, well, there's a hit. Good hit from the Kama. Would rather get Ocean Panic off. But we'll take that. Oh, a Queen coming back into it with a crit. Oh, what have we got here? Probably Thornwear. Oh no, Nature's Blessing. Which will put Ultimate Dino Queen in the lead. Oh well, well, the camera's given me back the lead back. Wow, this has been enticing. Just when it looked like I was gonna pull away, the Anata Titan out of nowhere pulls it back. And now Queen's gonna have the lead. Oh, this is, this is where it all goes wrong for me, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to get swept by an Anata Titan. Oh, please don't be Fawn Whip. Okay, I can live with Nature's Blasting. Just means i got to do more damage. Got to get a hit first. Ooh, I'll take that. That's a softening beam. That'll definitely help the camera out there. Weakening the Anata Titan when there's a tie. You know what we'd love now? The tie spam we had last round. That would be amazing right now. Go on, camera. Let's have a tie. Ah, oh, ass. Well, the camera at least did something, and it left the Anata Titan on low health. But 
it is Ultima Dino Queen 2-1 in front. And I don't think we saw that coming at the start of the match. Especially the storming start from the Mega Raptor. But now, our hosts are down to their last Dino. And on the, well, I wouldn't say on the brink of elimination, but... Because I was in this situation against Dark Ashtar and the Deinonychus basically won. And Deinonychus is going to have to do it again. Come on, Deinonychus, you can do it. Come on, we can knock her out. We can take her out of the tournament. End our winning streak. Oh, well, there goes another Titan. Our host is pulling it back without the Deinonychus taking damage. And getting some defense boost, which will help. Well, it's going to help against this thing, because it's got freaking Magma Blaster and Burning Dash. In his Omega Armor, Eocarcaria. Well, unless we get the tie spamage from the last match, we might... We probably won't see Omega Armor, to be honest. But you never know. You never know. We might see it. I hope we don't see it. I hope I can kill this thing quick. Well, I've had mixed results against Eocarcarias. The first one absolutely kicked my ass. The second one, I absolutely destroyed. So, wonder what this one will be like. Looks like this one's going to be annihilating me. It's a crit. No flare sword though. Interesting. Ooh, ooh, but Deinonica strikes back. Getting the light recovery going. Getting the defense boost going. Can our hosts do this? Wow, look at that. Pretty solid there. Retaking the lead. What a match this has been. Oh, I don't want my Magma Blaster activating. Oh, there's a crit. Could that be it now? One hit from the hosts will do it. Oh, he got the spinning attack. Go on, let's get spinning attack. Ah, oh, no. Don't go for rock. See? That's what happens when you go for rock. But look at the little damage. Can Queen come back? Or is she on the brink of an animation? Oh, oh, have I done it? Is this ultimate Dino Queen gone? Oh, is she gone? <laughs> Take it out by a Deinonychus. The strength is in the pack. Well, 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 Deinonychus does it again for the hosts. Knocking out Dark Ashtar and putting an end to Ultima Dino Queen. Well, well, well. Diddy Darius getting a bit nervous there. Eh? Because you don't underestimate this Deinonychus. It's a powerhouse. It, sh it rips dinos in half and guts them alive. I rather enjoyed that. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I did better than I did last time, because last time I lost at this stage, but now I'm into the quarterfinals. Right, but we will shed a tear of commiseration for Ultima Dino Queen. You know, and actually, yes, for the first time ever, she will not be in the top four. Wow, I, I was genuinely starting to think that this might actually be her time. Not the day, not this time. But can our hosts win this tournament? Can they win it yet again? But yeah, let's look at the brackets and we can end the session. Well, there's our first quarterfinal match up there. We will see Diddy Darius going up against our host, Stranger Gamer. And that is going to be another difficult match because as I said all along, Diddy Darius, a dark horse in this tournament. So yeah, commiserations to Fool's Katamato and Ultimate Dino Queen. They definitely did well in the, in the tournament, but they just... They just came up short today. You can't win them all, can you? You can't win them all. But yeah, that is basically it. So, hope you enjoyed. I certainly enjoyed. I, I might even leave a like on my own video because I enjoyed it that much. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. And stay tuned for next time where we will see random Shy Ghosts taking on Lauren Steele and Adolf Adams going up against MEJP10. And until then, this is Strange Gamer signing out.